Hello there everybody and welcome back to another music video makeup Monday. I'm your host here today, Miss Nikki, and we are going to talk about somebody who was really iconic back in the day. Back in the day, she had a few bangers that just were like, wow. Like I remember listening to them and being like, mind blown. Today we're going to be talking about Florence and the Machine. We are going to be creating the look from Dog Days Are Over. I didn't know there were two music videos for it or else I would have maybe planned to do another look as well, but the one that everybody knows, that's the one that we're going to be doing today. So if you want to know a little bit about Florence, you want to create this makeup look and you want to just, you know, do all that jazz, then please go ahead and keep watching and consider subscribing as well. I'm here for you most Mondays, some Fridays, and we talk about iconic movies while creating the makeup looks and iconic music videos and talk about the musicians, the creation of the song, etc. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first step today is going to be using a face primer. I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier face primer, and then we're going to go in with some clown white. So Florence was born Florence Leotine Mary Welsh. I think I'm saying her middle name right. I don't know, Leotine, Leotine, I don't know. It's kind of a cute looking name. I haven't seen a name like that before. But anyways, she was born in Camperwell, London. And she was born on August 28th, 1986. Her mother was a professor and her dad was an advertising agent. So I thought that was interesting. Um, I think it helps having family members who are in an industry and know how to advertise because that is not an easy thing. So I thought that was a Maybe it's luck, maybe it's not, but I thought that that was a good thing for her to have somebody who is educated in that because I know a lot of people don't have that. Florence was also the granddaughter of Colin Welsh, who was formerly a editor in the Daily Telegraph and the Daily Mail. So again, kind of well connected, if you ask me. As with a lot of these artists that we've done our research on on this channel, uh, she did go to school, um, and she did do pretty well in school. Um, they said that she would kind of get in trouble fairly frequently because she would bust out in song, <laughs> which I thought is cute. You know, she'd be singing in the halls and prompted singing, and the teachers would be like, hey, look, you need to stop. Her parents ended up divorcing at the age of 13. She was the age of 13. They didn't divorce at the age of 13. <laughs> and... Uh, she continued doing her schooling, all of that jazz, and uh, ended up graduating. When she graduated, she ended up working at a bar as a bartender, and she really thought that that was something that she could do for the long term, but eventually did decide to go to school. She went to the Camberwell School of the Arts, and eventually decided to drop out and just pursue music full time, which for that we're grateful for. So all I just did right now was put this white face paint on my face. And before we get into the rest of this, just wanted to give you a quick little thing of what I'm doing. I just got this little sponge and I've been just dabbing my face, making sure I have an even kind of uh, layer of this white face paint on. And what I'm gonna do next is take this RCMA translucent powder and powder up my face to make sure that everything that I have on my face stays on there. So the name Florence in the machine, how did that start? So the name Florist in the Machine actually came as a accident. It was more so like an accidental joke. You see, she had partnered up with a friend to do some music and the friend's name was Isabella, um, Isabella Machine, and to which she named herself Florence Robot. And so her friend, since it was Isabella Machine and Florence Robot, they together made a group and they called themselves Florence Robot is a Machine. Mm -hmm. You following? Just as a friendly reminder, this powder will dry out your skin, so make sure you put a lot, not a lot, but enough lotion on beforehand so that you don't really have that super dryness that comes with putting this much powder on. Next, I'm going to take this blush and literally take it from like right here all the way down. Like this. Eventually this Florence robot is a machine ended up kind of morphing itself, if you will, to Florence and the machine. And together they created their first album, which was Lungs. Which is where you will find Dog Days Are Over. 
Now, dog days are over. Let's talk about it. It was a song that they both created. It was said that they created this song in a small studio that is, and I quote, the size of a loo. So pretty small space. And uh, they created it with no instruments, which I thought was pretty interesting. The song was inspired by a artist that she would see riding her bike every day underneath the uh, Waterloo Bridge. And the artist was called this, uh, I would try, but man, I may not do it the best way. Um, and she would see this artist's work and she just said, okay, you know, dog days, dog days are over. And like I said, the song was co-written by her and Isabella Summers, who is listed as a co-writer producer on the record. And uh, she also played the piano, Isabella did. She kind of has a little swoop, so when you do do your liner, just add a big little swoop on the edge. The song was released on December 1st of 2008, and it was the album's second single. On the second day that it was out, uh, on December 2nd, uh, it was also released as a vinyl and was available for like digital download purposes. It debuted at number 89 on the UK charts and ended up being like an international success and was really well um, come about well acclaimed by critics. Add a few little marks on the bottom to give it a more whiskey appeal because in the video she does look a little more on the whiskey side. But like I said, the song was released in 2008 and slowly went on the rise all over the world. And in 2010 is when the music video came out, which is what we're recreating today. From what I was able to see, she actually had another music video that she had created. And then this is the second music video that they created with her. The first one was kind of set in a, uh, like, it was like a park, a forest kind of setting, and it was her, this one guy, and Isabella just kind of like in the forest. There's a lot of glitter, there's a lot of partying, there's a lot of interesting face makeup designs that they're doing. Um, so all in all, it was actually a pretty interesting video, and to this day it has about 3 million views. I didn't know it existed until today. Um, so I was just decided to stumble and look at it and I was pretty surprised by it and I actually really enjoyed it. It was a very fun video, but eventually the record label was just like, yeah, we're going to make another one and that's where this one came into play. This music video is a lot more on the simplistic side of things as far as just being on a white backdrop, her dancing, puffs of smoke, two additional dancers. Um, but it's really just kind of the shock factor that came with this look that she had that was just kind of like, huh, okay. <laughs> um, but overall, it did get a lot of praise as well. To this day, that video has 161 million views. Yeah, it's a lot of views. And um, I mean, it just, it was an international success. That's all I can really say. Now, as I sit here and I wrap up this book, this look, this book, this look, as I wrap up this look, uh, what I'm gonna do is I have these little clip on bangs. I'm gonna add these on. I have naturally curly hair, but I'm not in the mood to let it out. You know, I got in these braids. So I'm gonna pop these in real quick and then we're gonna talk about some final touches on this look. Okay, and we're back. I'm literally obsessed with these bangs. Every time I put them on, I'm like, why don't I wear these out? These are so darn cute. Anyways, this basically finishes the look totally. There wasn't that much more information when it comes to dog days besides everybody loved it, the music video was dope, and of course there's more things that did come from Florence moving down the line, but you know, we're just gonna stop on dog days because that was her, honestly, probably her biggest hit to date, and it was, you know, one of the first major successes for her. So, uh, like I said with this look, it's a fairly simple look altogether. All you really need is the white clown white face makeup and what you do, add that on, add a little bit of blush for your lips if you can find a matte white lipstick. I would totally suggest it, especially if you're gonna go out and eat. A matte lip would look good. What I just did, and I'm not about to eat, I'm probably just gonna wipe this off. Um, what you're gonna do is just put that lipstick so that if you do eat things like that, it doesn't go in your mouth 
or just like slowly <laughs> wipe its way off. So that's something that you can do. Um, and then with the eyes, simple eyeliner, some white, uh, what is it called? Some white eyeshadow to go along with it to just pack everything in place and make sure that everything is white. I probably could have added a little bit on the under eye. I don't know why I didn't. It is what it is. And then you add the winged liner. And if you want a few little micro, you know, markings on the bottom with the eyeliner to just make it give it that little pop. You can always put false eyelashes on. I'm pretty sure she has some on, both on the top and on the bottom. And that should be basically it. It's a fairly simple look. So if you do recreate it, please do tag me. I'm Lutra Makeup. I would love to see it. And I hope you guys had fun today. I had a good time. Uh, this is a fun look. And it's really a cool look to do just like on a photo shoot sort of whim. Of course, for Halloween and such, it's a good one too. But hey, there's a lot of options for it. But anyways, enjoy the rest of y'all's day. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And we'll be back soon with another music video makeup Monday look. Thank you guys again. And I will see you guys later. See ya.